Well, hi everyone. Thanks for checking out the local five weather lab today. I'm going to be talking about heat lightning out there. I heard about heat lightning all the time growing up and basically it's lightning without thunder, without rain. It happens in the summertime on those usually those warm and muggy nights out there. Thunderstorms love warm and muggy nights, so that's when it usually happens and we've called it heat lightning because some people think the heat is actually creating the lightning. Is that true or not? Well, let's talk about it. First of all, we've got this mature thunderstorm out here and here we are watching it and the thunderstorm is quite a ways away, right? So you do get the thunder and you do get some thunder if you're close enough to hear it because usually thunder doesn't go more than 10 miles. It's usually less than that, maybe five, six miles. The thunder can come straight to us and sometimes it gets refracted. The sound wave actually goes above our heads. So if you're standing out here, you're probably not going to hear the thunder. However, with lightning, you've got two ways to see it. You can see the lightning up to 100 miles away sometimes. That happens if you get the reflection off of the haze, you know, the summer haze you have out there. That can really uh, kind of reflect that lightning flash a long ways away. So you can see it way over here. So you're not hearing the thunder, you're not getting any rain, but you see all this lightning flashing in the sky and that essentially is, is what heat lightning is. So it's not created by the heat, although the thunderstorms do like the heat and they create those big thunderstorms. And by the way, lightning is mostly created with those ice crystals at the uh, up inside the cloud that are rubbing together that creates the friction creates the electricity and that is why we get all that lightning in the summertime and that's why we call it heat lightning thanks for coming to the local five weather lab